What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got another interesting video for you today. This is a very cool weather collection data center sent to me by a company called the Fry Foundation. Once you turn a certain age, you automatically just think weather collection centers are cool. I kind of wanted one of these already. As some of you guys know, I've gone down the crypto road the last couple months, and this one falls into that category as well with a couple other bonus features. So this is, uh, like I said, by the Fry Foundation. This basically goes onto their network. You connect this to your Wi-Fi and register it with them, and it pays you in crypto for capturing weather data in your local area. Now, they take that data and sell it to other companies looking for weather information, and you get paid in crypto daily you get these uh fry tokens deposited to your account you just make a wallet same as any other crypto setup and you get about two dollars and forty cents canadian per day that's what i've been getting every day so far so it's uh set to pay itself off in the first six months which is pretty neat after that it's just a free weather station um you're making a little bit of money on it if something were to happen to the cryptocurrency at least you still have the weather collection center which is more than you can say for some crypto projects if they go under you're stuck with a paperweight um, something that is literally useless with this you still are able to show your weather data it's got a little rain gauge here this collects your rain gauge information uh, it's got your wind speed and direction and also also does temperature humidity um, everything that a normal weather station would do but it's got a couple bonus features so it comes packaged up nicely it's very simple to put together most of it is done for you you just need to put the batteries in attach the wind gauge and the wind direction uh, weather vane essentially um, you have to put this little pipe clamp on and find a piece of pipe or something similar to mount it to it does not come with a post but it's got a pretty universal clamp here you can just set it on a pipe or a piece of aluminum stock like i've got pretty simple to set up after that you just need to connect it to your wi-fi and put it in a nice high place on your property that has uh, within range of wi-fi now this is the indoor display that it comes with. You can see we have the forecast in the upper right. We have our time and date in the top tab. We have a rain gauge meter. You can have that per hour or per day or per rain event, whatever you want to set it to. We have our indoor temperature in the bottom right, our outdoor temperature in the bottom left. We have our wind speed and direction. And if you open the app on your phone and you have all that connected, it does give you some more information like barometric pressure, humidity. Uh, it tracks everything over time with a nice graph or a uh, little bar setup so a lot of flexibility and i'm going to show you uh, how to install it and then i'll show you a couple other cool features on it so it's all ready to go up on the pergola we're going to be putting it up here with the solar panels i figure that's a pretty good spot for it now i just went to pop it up there and i noticed there is a directional arrow that needs to point west now i'm assuming that gives it a reference point so it knows which way the wind is actually traveling so if you are installing one of these make sure you have that arrow facing west that's not going to be a problem for me i've got lots of different options on the pergola here so i'll get it popped up there okay well that was pretty easy to put up i picked the coldest windiest day possible so my hands are frozen so we're going to get back inside i'll show you guys some of the other features as well as the fry foundation website and the weather collection data website okay so this is the online portal for the weather collection center um, you can see we have some nice summarized outdoor temperature data you can get any piece of information that thing can offer summarized in a tab like this it also shows you in graph form the outdoor temperature now for whatever reason i was not able to screen record it it kept giving me an issue every single time so there is a really cool map feature that shows you every other weather data center that's public out on the world basically you can click on any weather data center check in on the weather in that area as long as that person has made their information public which most people do um, so it's a really cool app to check weather in different areas um, and just track your overall weather data in my last video you saw i was comparing my indoor temperature and outdoor temperature to my furnace and heat pump runtime so if you haven't seen that video go check that out so this is the Fry Foundation website. Basically, all you do once you have it up and running is come over here and enter your information to get it registered. It'll put it on their network and you can start earning cryptocurrency every day. Like I said, I've been making about 240 a day every single day. So, you know, over time that adds up, it's pretty nice. Now they also make a low end weather miner that comes in a little bit cheaper. That one comes in at 250, while the high end that I have here is 350. So two different options. They both work great. They both capture data. Obviously the high end just captures a little bit more data. Now they do make some other pretty cool projects. They have uh, a satellite miner, basically checks position of satellites in space. They also have a pretty cool traffic camera. Um, if you have a good view of a street from your window, you can set up a traffic camera to look at the street and you get paid for that data as well. 
And the third and final feature that is kind of a bonus feature that I was totally unaware of is this data center works with IFTTT. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's an automation software called If This Then That. It's kind of a, a simple, uh, easy to use programming software. So you can take a device that's on their network and set up parameters to control other devices. So basically we could say when the indoor temperature, uh, the indoor threshold hits 68, we want to create a trigger. Um, and then we would add our heat pump or whatever it may be here to turn on, turn off. Uh, there's a ton of different options. So you can see there's a lot of supported apps. There are some mini split controllers out there that are pretty universal. So I'm looking into getting one of those that can control the EG4 solar hybrid heat pump. And we can have another trigger to turn it on and off based on indoor temp. Now I do have the Mydea uh, dehumidifier. So I could set this up on my main floor to say when the humidity level reaches say 55% on the main floor, it will trigger the dehumidifier to activate in the basement. Um, that's handy because the basement humidity is always a little bit higher. It's in the sump pump room. So uh, it'll act as a second trigger. If the main floor humidity is getting too high, it can bring it on and just start pulling that down. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Fry Foundation high-end weather miner. I know not all of you are going to be into crypto or even want to consider that option, but for me it kind of checks all the boxes. It provides some home automation, uh, the cryptocurrency thing is something I'm new to and interested in, and the data collection center is awesome for my heat pump and making videos. So let me know what you think. I'm going to have a link to it below if you want to check it out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.